And welcome back to the long run of Lufia 2 Rise of the Fenstrals Ancient Cave. We are currently on floor 30 of the Ancient Cave. And we're going to um, try to make it as deep as we possibly can. And uh, this time we got some pretty good stuff. We got Miracle Mail on Maxim, which has an IP ability of restoring uh, someone's um, MP bar to full. It does take a full MP, uh, does take a full IP bar to do that. So it's trading a full IP bar for a full MP bar, which is a pretty good trade, honestly. And on top of that, we have strong. So we can just heal any time as long as we have MP, and we can bring our MP back as long as we have a full IP bar on either uh, Guy or Maxim. That would be at work and of course a big match Friday, yeah. Um, for anyone who's not here live, um, we got some real big Super Smash TV coming up uh, in, uh, in the tournament that is happening as we're recording this. Uh, Brysol versus Aquas on uh, Friday night, and hopefully J-Pop and CHX on Sunday afternoon. Strong is most out of fight efficient healing spell. Yeah, definitely. And like, if it's your only healing spell, then you're gonna make do with uh, with a mm, never underestimate strong. But we're probably going to also need a resurrection spell because, like, we only have so many um, revives and miracles. And that one is fake. There's nothing over there. Who's getting a crit there? Nice. Thing that's an upgrade, but uh, let's double check it is not. Get some heals on Selen. Let's get Maxim to do that. Perfect. Game. Unfortunately, cannot uh, sneak up on the Dark Skulls, but also. We got good weapons against the Dark Souls for the most part. Ooh, that ain't great though. But Maxim immediately normalizes. And that is everything on this floor. The the uh, the blue mimics still kind of make me nervous, honestly. Even with being able to heal. Oh, we got cores. It's pretty late to get our first core. Though. 
unfortunately guy does no damage. One of them is sticking around. Both of them are. They get on maximum. We do get one of them down. Let me get the other one down. Free level, basically. Optimize that a little bit better, but not too worried. Next. Ah, uh, this is awesome for that tower shield that we had before. See, that's kind of the peril of uh, trying to rank up your. Um, your capsule monster during the, uh, the ancient cave. Like you, you end up using something, and then they uh, they ask for that thing, like way down the road. That is Artea's armor, finally. Maybe they say something, they say they want something and go yuck. Um, I think, um, Fru, uh, Fru Lufia fixes that. But they say they want something, even if they would otherwise go yuck. If they said they wanted, they get three points. I do remember seeing that in the uh, in the notes for this. Also, we only have a couple of rings right now. Block shield. Is an upgrade for selling. It's called a block shield because you block with it, you see. It's also made of blocks. all for this floor. Make short work make short work of this uh, of these trolls and get a multi soul. Which is not an upgrade but um, I'm gonna need to remember to keep that around I think. in the case that we would make it to the end. Up. 
guard. Fire dagger. Unfortunately, they were not focused enough and uh, we end up with this situation. <laughs> Who thinks the troll looks like Super Macho Man? Unfortunately, we have Detox, so we can just get rid of that poison. Yeah, if we could get Rally, like we would, we would pretty much be good, I think, to go all the way. It doesn't mean that we get to be careless, but uh... Like, as long as we don't make any boneheaded, you know, mistakes or bad decisions, we would be able to make it to the end, almost sure. I mean, I kind of see what you mean, Jake. <laughs> Guy does have a full IP bar, but there's no one who is in a, in a strong need for a, a full MP gauge right now, so... I'm gonna hold on to that, uh, that full IP right now. Not really the one who needed that. I can kind of understand why people would call Artea Artie, because like if if you only see the name, depending on what sense you have to read it, you might end up just reading it already from the get-go. Oh, these guys are speedy. Kamikaze! Which is absolutely how I read it when I originally saw the title Zero, a Zero the Kamikaze Squirrel. Because I didn't know how to spell Kamikaze, so... It was just Kamikaze. Ooh. Who wants to be a light jacket? We have a light jacket. I shall feed her. The light jacket. Sonic green, Sonic green, Sonic green. Yeah, 
Yeah, multi sword, multi attack. Sword, sword that can do multiple attacks. That would probably be useful for the final boss here, possibly. Depending on how much attack power that is anyway. No, but. Let's feed, uh, feed her all of the uh, duplicates that we have. Except for the multi sword. I kind of want to hold on to the fact that we have two of them. Screw that bush in particular, I guess. I don't know why he decided to do that. I definitely need to do a round of healing after this fight. Kinda of forgot to do that. And um not Artea to a kind of low HP level, but uh not dangerous. They're stronger! Now I got some good in combat he uh, healing as well. Oh, we got four of them. Let's see how many stick around. At least one. And we got one. And still enough to level up on. This guy's a butt. Bit. The singular bit. Uh, that's quite a fanfare for one bit, honestly. I might want to tweak my uh, my notifications a little bit. Aqua Sword. Just not an upgrade. Let's do some more healing. We haven't found any uh, any secret um, healing pads. Necromancers are kind of rough. Very spongy. Do a little bit of gardening. Is that it for that floor already? Another antidote for good measure. Also, we should, we should probably use the antidotes 
like the antidote items for as long as we can and then use detox. Not that detox is particularly expensive, mind you. It's only like 2 MP. But uh, antidotes are free. Safety first! Well, the safety first is effectively a hard hat. Like from the description. We found this last time as well. Yeah, there's a couple of very strange items. Like the, there's the safety first. There's the Sore Custom 11, which is literally a guitar. I got Flash. But I thought Flash was dead. This is well before the death of Flash. Besides, there's still, uh, there's still the Flashpoint project. Trying to be an ultimate collection of, like, every Flash game in animation. Flash for that matter. There's also like Shockwave games, there's uh, animations, there's uh, Java, and then there's a bunch of like weird stuff like the PopCap plugin. HTML5 Unity. Which uh, used to require its own plugin as well. And they also do uh, they also do save like modern HTML5 games as well. It's all sorts of stuff. Maxim still doesn't have a full bar of IP. Oh, that is all for this floor, actually. Yeah, these look more like flying monkeys than like dragons. Sure do hurt though.
And I'm not a fan of the fact that they're attacking now, because that means all of them are going to attack, and uh, Sun's not in a great place, but she is going to survive. I guess I could have also skipped casting on Guy and uh, probably got so into full health that way, but not particularly worried at this point. I got some sort of a there, I'm not sure what it was. It was the same metal armor that uh, Guy is wearing right now. The same kind, anyway. Oh my goodness. Fortunately, they only get one attack per turn. Unlike the dragons, you get two. on selling. Very good. Here we are. Confuse ball. This confuse ball has the power to bedazzle the stupid. Ah, it's the Mad Pumpkin. That is the enemy who in the original uh, Lufia 2 is, is called Mad Head. I guess we got an upgrade to our heal.
And I said we got a shriek. Is there anything else in this floor? There is not. And now on the last floor of this leg. Oh, lovely. We got a confused cell, but it's not going to make any difference. That's a nice crits there. Love to see it. Once again, it doesn't really matter. We got the shield spell. I thank you for facing away from me. Like a complete fool. Probably should have gone with the one on the right, actually, because it looks like it's on the front row. And it took just everyone to get the, the one on the back row. And that did nothing. Big yelling on die. Appreciate it. That's it, let's go on to floor 41, our song for the next 20 floors, to immediately get the bijou shield, which is Guy's first shield. A very precious revive. Again, should have aimed for the one on the front row. Just kind of mashed without looking there, and that could very well be my downfall. It's the longer we go, like the more impatient I get, and you cannot afford to be impatient when you're going through the ancient cave.
really would like to see more blue boxes, though. Ooh, Virus Tiara. Of the legendary uh, Iris equipment. I believe there are 10 pieces in all, and if you get all of them, then you will have gotten all of them. There's really no nothing else to it but other than that, as far as I'm aware. Song guy, nice. Let's top off selling for good measure. What are we fighting for? Oh, we're fighting for these babies. destroy the green core and then bomb that blue that uh, blue core 44444 44. dare you what dare you enter the cha the chamber of farts Just everyone attacking this guy, not going down. I'm a little worried, actually. <laughs> we got two, boys. Thank you for the two bits. Today I learned that every time I kill a... Uh, a core on this stream, I get paid one cent. And there's not much else to this floor. But can you shoot the core? Uh, that one... It looked kind of dark. I was... I kind of doubted that it was real, but it was real. The Guildmaster, apparently that's what we call yourself, is a little short on funds right now, I see. I understand. Money sucks. Unfortunately, I can't do a uh, mega attack like I just did because Artea's uh, IP is just empty. But we should be able to get this blue core. That's a good chunk of uh, of experience still. Magic fruit. No bits working on Minip. Okay. But go work on that bit Minip, I guess. Um. Oh. Uh. I think Foos is almost to the next rank. I kind of want to work on that right now. See if we can get. Frying pan isn't working again. Metal wire, not working again. Don't have any other duplicates. Draco is good. Draco is good. And I have a holy staff.
Well, that was gonna be Feast Rank 3. Immediately using prayer with no effect whatsoever. And so far we have avoided there being an uneven Steven. The only uh, the only KO so far has been Sel, and we were able to get her up before the end of the fight. Second bit duelist with a third bit deck. Oh, shots fired. You get caught up in the shots fired. Another core. Unfortunately, they all got away this time. It's not exactly easy to uh, to outspeed a core. I mean, they probably have like 500 agility or something. These guys get two attacks, huh? Uh, just for good measure, I'm gonna have Artea heal himself. Let's not risk him getting, like, attacked multiple times. And this should do it. But with this Foos Whisper that, uh, that makes the HP go up, my guess is, I think you're really cool. Which honestly sounds like some sort of like peppermint snack. But in fact, it is not good for anyone. Cutter Whip, which is probably not going to be better than uh, the one that Solomon currently has, unfortunately. Or a cheap Pepsi knockoff. Maybe it's like Mentos infused Pepsi. Honestly, that sounds like something that I would want to try one time 
and probably never again. I'm trying to imagine how a minty soda would both taste and also how it would confound the senses. to have it, at least one or two of those on hand. A luck blade. And we can merge with this memory. Are you some sort of dreamwalker or something? any of them stick around. Unfortunately, they do not. Tron, I think. It has been a, it has been a while since I've watched Tron. Another curse lifter. No core for you! A very twisty floor, but I think we've gotten everything we can out of it. There we go. Oh, nice crit. And Guy, the one with the diamond axe, is not able to cut down that tree by himself. How shameful. Turban. That's gotta be an upgrade for someone. So take a good look at that. That was a good chunk of defense and uh, also boosts attack a little bit. Wow, managed to outspeed an assassin class. Unfortunately, these guys get two attacks. Well, either two attacks or knife throw. And uh, you're gonna cast stronger on everyone but die. Oh, come on now. Well, 
maybe we can save this. We don't have to have an uneven Steven. I thought that was going to finish off this, uh, this assassin, but uh, we got a chance here. Provided that he doesn't do guillotine again. Okay, he saved it, guys. Ah, instant kills should be illegal. Actually, uh, Selen has more MP right now. in this store? Probably not, eh? Oh! No, there's still the store. Edge, which I think we've already seen one of those. It's already not an upgrade. And that should be everything on this floor. Cockatrices. Gotta watch out for those. Oh, nice crit though, wow. So I guess since uh, since we're just kind of going through the motions for the most part here, um, but before I uh, started uh, today's run here, I decided to check something out. There's uh, this there's this YouTube channel that puts out a uh, program called The Mystery Seven. Uh, this, uh, this program is named after the Mystery 7 feature, uh, from the second round of most of the Pyramid game shows. And, um, it's pretty much, um, it's labeled as, uh, basically a blind bag of seven game shows in one package. So I'm like, yeah, that's up my alley, sure. So I, uh, I just put a random one on. There's like over 200 of them. Um, the first game show was Family Fortunes which is the British version of Family Feud and has kind of been bad long before the uh, North American or US version of the show became kind of crap. Um, 
Specifically, though, it was a, uh... It was a celebrity, uh, version of the show, so, you know, people were kind of expected to... more or less, uh... go bananas anyway. Uh, then that was followed up with Classic Concentration, and then Original Concentration. Uh, then you had Supermarket Sweep, which I'm a lot more familiar with the Canadian version of that show. Or uh, during the big sweep, they, uh, they call the, shop the shopping carts buggies. Um, and then for some reason, Marty Stauffer's Wild America, which is definitely not a game show. Oh geez. That is not allowed. champion, but we got all the healing spells. We still don't have any revives, though. Uh, um, so yeah, after Marty Stauffer was Password Plus, and then there's another show after that that I didn't have time to get to. Like, overall, it's... I like the idea of it, at the very least, even if I don't necessarily like all of the shows that uh, I've seen in it so far. And as far as I'm aware, like, this is released daily. Like, there's a new Mystery 7 every day. Which is kind of rad, honestly. And that was a ring, and, uh, well, finally we can get another ring on someone. And that's a brawn ring, so I'm probably gonna put it on Guy. Because he big heavy. That's about it for this war. Oh, these guys are fast. At least they run at me fast. I don't know how fast they are in combat. Evidently not that fast. Like they, they're able to run at you, but after that they're just kind of normal, I guess. They do have very high defense, so that is a concern. have pretty high attack. It's Ancient Cave Clock! Yes, indeed. So greetings, Ellie's in. We're 
We're getting close to the halfway point here, and we're probably not finishing this tonight, so I'm probably ha gonna have to do an extra stream uh, on Friday or Saturday at some point. Silver Rod? I don't know if that's an upgrade for anyone. Nope. Kind of, uh, nervous about these blood plants, considering that they seem to have three attacks. And as long as I can take them out before they attack, that's not gonna be a problem. The three attacks always hit the same target. Good to know. So if they decide to attack Selen, she's probably screwed. Not drowsy. Well, I had already gotten drowsy. I guess not. If there's anything else on this floor. So whatever's behind that door. It's possible to get the same spell twice in the same floor. Uh, if I, like, I thought I got drowsy before, but it would, it would have been on a previous floor. Like, way earlier in the run. Yeah, this is the, um... This is the third ancient cave run on this file, so I had a couple of good weapons. Um, had the diamond axe for um, for guy and uh, the ether whip for Selen. Has carried them like all the way down here so far. Yeah, Indra Turbine was, uh, was this run, but, uh, definitely some good equipment. Nope, that's not where it is. There it is. I've also learned to identify which bushes have uh, have healing pads underneath them, and also which chests are uh, are mimics and which ones aren't. As previously, I was just slashing all of the bushes because I didn't know the difference, but. Uh, then with some help from Zero, we're able to figure it out. Another Bijou shield. Which I don't think. Was there? Oh yeah, Guy got one. And uh, this is something only for Guy, I guess. So far we have all of the healing spells, but no revive spells yet, so trying to avoid anyone dying. That means overhealing a bit, that's fine. No rally, no valor. Not yet, anyway. Which is definitely a better deal than... Uh, than the second one, where I just got no healing whatsoever. Like, the only healing I had was items, and then at the beginning of this stream, 
Um, we are on floor 29, I think. And end up getting a, uh, getting into a fight that nearly wiped us. And I was like, uh-uh. Get me the hell out of here. And our tails going to be strong back there. I think it was bees, yeah. We've definitely had a lot better luck with bees uh, this run. But mostly because we can heal. Have a whip. Is not going to be an upgrade. I think that's it for this floor. Oh, no, there's still this door. And that door. Okay. Oh, and on top of that, uh, another blue chest that we found had the Miracle Mail. Which is also very good. It's kind of expensive, but like a full bar of IP for a full bar of MP. Nothing to sneeze at. And speaking of which, I should probably start considering our refilling at the least our tail. He still has 88. I mean, there's not really any rush. I just want to make sure that we don't run out. Actually, uh, with the uh, Fru Trilogizer patch, it's um, Drain is something else. But I do have Drain, but that lowers enemies' defense. Uh, it would be called Absorb with the Trilogizer patch. I do like Absorb. I think once uh, Sol and Artea uh, dips like below 50, then I'll uh, I'll do a magic revive then. Yeah, I can understand the the crew terms being a little um, a little confusing, especially if you like grew up with. Ah, crap. Accidentally defended with Arzea. Yeah. But like if you grew up with Lufia too and... Kind of changing all the terms so that they all line up with uh... With each other throughout the three, three games. All the three different games anyway. I don't know if there's a patch for the remake of... Was it one or two that was recently? I think we could go for a top up after this fight. A remake of Luffy 2. Uh, that never existed. Okay, I get you. They're just. It, it's pretty much like the same story as how they, uh. They somehow skip Mega Man X7. I just went straight from 6 to 8 for some reason. Uh, 
Okay, I think that's it for this floor. We're almost to the halfway point. A couple more floors. Ninja Rock. Start, we start facing Tyrannosaurus X. Yes, that was that was a robot dinosaur that shoot beams when they were uh, reference. Also, there goes Foose again. Thanks for being our tank, Foose. Thanks a lot. I ask. Or more like the Ellison asks you. Oops. Um, I was going to select both Max and an Artea there, but I, I forgot how to buttons for a second. Silver Ape A. Is that going to be enough? It is not. I have three curse lifters. Got a weapon there. I, I was looking at the at the OBS display because like you had a, a question here. I don't have a blood rod actually. Uh, I had a blood rod, but I decided to be stupid and try to feed it to Foose. That didn't work out. Well, if you don't know, you don't know. Naturally, Foos didn't like it either. So then, if you use a Curse Lifter... Like, you... I don't really understand how Curses work in this game, because we, we have never actually, like, equipped a Cursed item. Except for one time when I was in town and I wanted to see is this item cursed? Equip it, yes it is, then I reloaded. The cave is a learning experience for us all. And there goes a core again, running away as it does. Yeah, cursed. I, I understand the general concept of curses as far as like, yeah, they, they stay glued until you uncurse them. I've I've played my fair share of roguelikes, like classic roguelikes. So after you uncurse them, they I I presume they stay uncursed in this game, which I guess they kind of do in now. Uh, most world likes as well. Curse ha Blood Rod has an 80% chance to just one hit KO foes. Uncurse has a 10% chance. I'm I'm guessing that uh, as a result of there being uh, a very high chance of one-hit KO foes. 
Wow, these guys are just going. Like, is... Is there, like, a negative? Like, there's a chance that you might one-hit KO yourself or something? Looking, did Maxim hit himself? I mean, that would explain why he's not confused anymore. Oh, I don't want Artea to get confused. My goodness, can you please? These guys are no joke. Um, I really need Artea to be a healer here, so I can't use his IP. Yeah, let's try that. Uncursed Love God is great for the boss. Curse is useless, also won't, won't, un, won't one hit KO on this. Oh, that makes sense. Oh my goodness. I probably should have, um,. Well, Artea's dead. I think I want to run away. Because, <laughs> like, in, in the last, like, three or four turns, we haven't killed anything. I need to get out of this fight. But at the same time, if I try to run away, I don't get a chance to heal, and Maxim really needs to heal right now. Whew. At the very least, I have the solace that the skulls will attack last. So I need to take that into account. I'm going to use a miracle on our table. And I'm going to have Cell and Heal Max. Unfortunately, that leaves me with just leave luck to heaven for Guy. Hopefully, he doesn't kill us. Oh, thank goodness. Now we just have to survive this again. <laughs> okay, that's hilarious. They took care of the problem for us. Anyway, we need to get the hell out of here. Okay, we got away. Good. Ah, that was rough. At the very least, that gave me a reason to use uh, Miracle on Artea, which means now he has full, full MP, which means I should probably have him be the healer right now. And both still on Nari with Bloods on the, the, the one hit game, uh, one OHKO guy, then Maxim, the next turn OHK of themselves. Yow. And 
we uh, don't think we have access to the... Yeah, we don't have access to the stairs, so like... We have to get through that skull. Uh... Can you heal the skulls for damage? Well, that might not be a problem, actually. Grab a doubt, Kazab. Fair enough. Should be able to take care of the iron golems fair easily enough here. And honestly, like I could just mm, I don't know if I want to fight those skulls again unless I have to. 400 per single target at maximum. Or at minimum rather. And these guys have a lot of health, but also like they have a pretty good punch, but they don't have much else. But also just avoid them, yeah. That's probably what I'm gonna do. There goes Foose again. Also, I need to, like, check more often what Foose actually wants to eat. You understand Roblox after a while, you just kind of want to stop fighting. Yeah. And at the same time... You want you want to be able to fight what you can. Like that's the thing with Aang Band. Like if um, if you want to win a run of Aang Band, you gotta know how to play. And how to play is basically like you want to take the fights that you can, and you also want to dive as soon as you're able. Of course, with Aang Band, you have a whole lot more. Uh, variables. Like, you want to have the proper resistances before you do your dives. Otherwise, you're just going to get slaughtered. Spike shield. Is that going to be good for anyone? Yes! Maxon finally has a shield. Almost halfway down the ancient cave. Ah. That didn't look like four hundred damage to me. Maybe it was rebalanced in the fruit patch. Uh, and accidentally had our good effect. Prayer is not the one that I need, this. Two of the six foes that resist. <laughs> well, but. That would be my luck, wouldn't it? Mm. Is this another foe that resists up? Let's find out. 
sure isn't. Ah! Not scared of these guys, though. Yeah, I might go a little bit over uh, over time today, depending on where we're at. I would like there to be no more than 40 floors left when we finish tonight. Any things that Moses up are both called gold, gold or you pass them. Still haven't found any of those scrungly bushes that uh, have healing pads under them. I do want to heal some. Uh, she's really the, the main one that needs healing right now. Irish shield. That's two out of ten, I believe. See how Guy does against the last one. Iris, I. Hey. We got a source of it. I really should be spending my sources. I have not spent a single one yet. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Source, the guy, mine source, I will get to Altea. There we go. We only had a couple of them there. Uh, let's check on foods here. Ron Sword, if you don't have that. I still want the wrong sword. I will give you one multi sword. Ugh, one point, great. Cut away. Yes, one point. Let's theater any, uh, any duplicates that we have. give you the magic fruit as well. My main concern is like if we can get her to to uh, rank four, I'm happy with that. Death pick has the same 80% OHKO chance, just doesn't do anything for the final boss. But do do those have so they, they don't have any like immediate downsides unless in your example you get confused and end up killing your entire party. If I understand right. Keep it on hand for now anyway. First, zero attacks of the kangaroo on deads. All right, you can't hurt on deads, and there's always the risk that you get confused and just go on a killing spree. attack. Also Red Saber, which uh, let's see, Red Saber, there it is. Aaron Bro. 
this. And that's already can just can just zap. Ah, I didn't get the back attack. But yeah, like I think that's really didn't kill a single one. But yeah, like other than the JRPG style battles, this is a roguelike. Like, straight up. And I think that's why I enjoy this. I'm not gonna bother with those skulls unless I have to. And we are at the halfway point. IHP dudes. The puzzle high speed dude. Oh, nice crit. This guy is from ROM Hack Developer even as recently as last year. I I do know that uh Oh yeah, I seen that. Uh I think uh Arborelia played that at some point. the cursed bow do. Oh, we got a monster zoo. Hmm. Now let's see what we can do. It uncurses to a decent bow for our tail. I don't know if it's gonna be, be any better than the Phoenix game, though. I mean, I have I have three curse lifters. Let's just give it a try, I guess. It just hits its user. It just sucks. Well, giving me already a death pick for the one shots. Oh yeah, it becomes RTS book. I yeah, I just noticed that. I am. I really like AoEs, honestly. It might not be the best thing on the table, but I just like them. It's probably going to be especially useful for this area as well. We do need to deal with this monster zoo. And that would have been real cool if uh, if Foose had actually taken down that uh, that dude. Okay. 
trying to be careful to uh, not end up in multiple battles. I still am going to use that a little more boost. Yeah, the multi sword is good too. I'm like, I am holding on to it in case we can we can get like all the way down. I am gonna have to look up some strategy for um for the boss though. Like, there's a couple of things that I that I remember that you should do. Double crit, hey, let's go. Oh, you can give me a link. Uh, I, I'm probably not going to remember if you just tell me right now. hoping to, to get in there, but uh, I got juked. Oh, Foos means business now. She has the bolt attack. And then she dies. Oh no. Okay. Got in first on this fight. We've avoided uh, taking back attacks pretty decently so far. We've only taken like a one this run so far. Yeah, Mirror is not going to be particularly useful when my strategy is just. I bound ZR to be, uh, to be, um, auto fire A and just blow through as much as possible because there's a lot of this cave, like you said. Ref.ancientcave.net. Somehow not surprised. that there is a um, a website specifically for the ancient cave. Well, I will uh, check those out after the stream. Thank you very much. this fight. And we maybe exclude everyone except Guy. To use a little bit of extra health. Uh, Artea, actually. Uh, no, so I'll keep. I'll have you keep healing here. Artea's got the, the, you know, the real business spells. It is a long one, like, the only time that I can say I have touched down was not really, I wouldn't really count it because it was during an archipelago run and I had, uh, I had, um, the boss at level 51. Basically a 50 level cave rather than the full 100 because when you're playing a multi-world, 
you, you typically don't want people to uh, have to wait on you for like eight hours unless it's an async. for nearly a decade, wow. That is some love for this game, and I appreciate that. Hey, the Archipelago experience is, is pretty good. Um, like, the, the way that I ended up playing it is I started with just Maxim, and then you get your other party members from item drops. And then you can also get just all sorts of fun items from uh, from the Magi World as well. It's not something that I would do often. I think I still have it in my um, my Master or YAML. And you're going to heal yourself. And depending on the nature of the, you know, multi-world group that you're going into, it can be a bit of a commitment. Uh, a little less so if uh, if you're doing it as an async, because then you can just you know take your time and put in some progress whenever you have the time to do so. And depending on what settings you have, like, a run can just take, like, three hours. And you don't even have to, to fight um, the master at the end. You can fight damn near anything. Um, there's options for fighting just... Any random boss, any random Sinistral, specific Sinistral, or just any encounter in the game at all. An open world randomizer for the main game is re released in the same week as Archipelago. And that seems like something that would be nice to have uh, as a separate category for, for Archipelago. Mostly cleared this floor except for this room. There's the staircase down. Yeah, like the the there are two games that I would like to work on, but uh, I think one of them is already being worked on, and I just found found out about that like today. Or yesterday, I think. And uh, the other one, uh, okay, the other one is a, another SNES game, and I have no SNES hacking experience whatsoever. Um, with so the the one that's already being worked on, I think, is Balatra. <laughs> It's not on the main Archipelago server because apparently it got a Peggy 18 plus rating, which disqualifies it from being on the main server. Um, not for any like 
violence or sexual content for gambling, effectively. Which, it's not really gambling, but it has aspects of gambling, and oh boy, Maxim's almost dead. We'll be able to finish this this battle before. We... There we go. Let's let's get him patched up, shall we? Um, and the the SNES game is uh, Seven Saga, and like. The main reason that I would want to do Seven Saga is because uh, a couple of friends of mine who may or may not still be in the chat um, play a lot of the randomizer for that game. And uh, the randomizer is open source. But the problem is, I have no. NES hacking experience, so like, I wouldn't even know where to start. Oh boy, we got three skulls again. I think I want to run away from this. I'm not dealing with three skulls. Not even if I can just zap them. That's a bit of a waste of crit, but uh I'm gonna sneeze at uh, taking some of these targets down. So we are at time at this point. Like I said, I'm gonna get down to floor 60. Then we'll we'll clear out floor 60, and that'll be it for today. Got Valor, this is a friggin' run. Let's go. Is the expensive revive, but it's still a revive. Oh, missed this chest. I just had a potion. Big ol' nothing. I love these, uh, these hallways to nothing. Silver Rod, I don't think that's an upgrade for anyone. I'm gonna say that's not. You know what? Let's, uh, let's touch up some more here. Valor from Maxim or Selen is pretty good if you're heal bombing undeads. Champion and Valor, you got this one. Yeah, I definitely see that. If you're gonna use healing offensively, I generally want to go uh, all out. There goes Foose again. Yeah, so far we've had two knockouts in the party, but I oh, got yeah, trick. 
We've had two knockouts in the party, but I've managed to bring them back before the end of the fight, so we we haven't ended up with what I'm calling an uneven Steven. I forget which one Trick is. I mean, I can just look it up once, uh... Once we get out of this fight, or even if... Let's see, Trick. Where are you? I'm probably at the end of this. Increase attack points right now. Yeah, that, that would be good. All four people exactly the same as if. Oh! That's actually pretty good. It doesn't get weaker for multi targeting. Crystal Wall. Double check equipment. You still want to equip the Phoenix Cane. I still want you to equip your your bow. It's a bit of a downgrade, but I'm I'm eating it for the for the AoE. Someone's getting a bit low on MP. I might want to um Hit her with a magic revive. Oh good, you heal too. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> I was going to have Artea heal guy, but uh... Hopefully he doesn't get hit. Or maybe you can just cast Perish. Uh, let's, let's go with a stronger just for good measure. Something that I want to do. Oh. Okay, yeah, someone's still at 71 MP. I'm not too worried for the moment. For this floor. Starting right next to a blue chest, which contains a snow sword. That's probably gonna be an upgrade for a. Uh... No! Is it an upgrade for anyone? No? Well, that's disappointing. What do you do? 
Why is this not so weird? Why is this not so weird? Can I just miss it? Maybe it's just a figment of our imagination. There it is. Ah, okay. Attack all enemies and hit them with ice ball creases. Basically what Artea has, except with a different skull attached to it. No sword is for ladies only. That'd be weaker than the whip. That has decent defense boost and I would I would argue a pretty good uh, IP attack as well. down first. Awake. Magic. Oh, that's spicy, actually. Like, they have three attacks each. That's real spicy. I don't like this. Fortunately, Artea's faster, so we can get heals first if we need to. And that could be real bad, but it, uh, it turned out fine this time. Attacks or big AoE. Ah. Hmm. Hey, Spongy. Spongy. Oh my goodness. Here comes a bolt attack though. That's gonna help. To remember to um, top up as I go here. I have Valor, but uh, discretion is the better part of Valor. Goodness. Hmm. Uh, I want to say, yeah, I have Waken, so. Ding dong. Oh boy. I see what you mean by interesting enemy, like they, they are intent on causing absolute havoc. 
Yeah! Ow! Well, prayer actually came through this time. At least they don't take your hero like in Darkest Dun Dungeon. Yeah, I, I can see uh, I can see uh, any sort of harpy or siren wanting to just get away with your entire party member in Darkest Dungeon. chilly. I think this is where, uh, this is what Champion is for. Double checking my disk space available here, making sure that I don't blow my budget there either. Which I have plenty. Yeah, I I might uh, I might have that guide up for uh, for the last 44s. That would be a good idea. I'm just not gonna bother right now because I'm already over time. Like, my goal is to get to floor 60 and then that's that. Are you going to jump me? You're not. And it just takes us back here anyway. with this floor. Let's get out of here. 55. Yeah, the, these uh, Cyclopes kind of look like um, that one Cyclops uh, in La Moana. At least on the uh, on the map screen, not so much here. Well, it's still kind of a little bit here, just the one in Lana Lana is a lot bluer. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of old in inter in internet terms. Like I I was there when uh, I wasn't there when the Let's Play was created, but I was definitely there when when the word was spread. Especially with um, this East Crabs run of La Mulana, which. Uh, kind of popularized both uh, La Mulana and the concept of Let's Plays in general. Light Helm. Back 
is an upgrade for uh, for Guy. So yeah. Mabuaho? Yes, La Mulana. If anyone, if anyone is wondering what Majo Tori is, um, it's a it's a quiz game, short version. Um, basically, you you play as a witch, kind of. I don't even really play as a witch. You, um, the, the witch shows up in, uh, many people's stories at, like, very clutch times in their lives. And she is, like, very inconvenient times, I might add. And she's like, you want to play a game? And then she asks you ten questions. And for each answer you get correct, you get one chance of whatever situation you're in to end well. At the end of 10 questions, you spin a roulette, or is it 10 or 9? It might be 9. But at the end of 9 questions, you spin a roulette, and if you get a check mark, then you get the good ending. And if you get an X, you get the bad ending. So if ever you do play Majo Tori, uh, hope you enjoy the music because there's one track. Yikes. Uh, might want to the safety heal maxim. I'll focus on maxim. Goes for good measure. See those crits come in at uh, at good times. Uh, uh. As a non-speedrunner, I do kind of wish that this game had a confirmation. Like once you put in everyone's uh, everyone's moves, there's like one last confirmation of like, so are you sure this is what you're doing?
I I did play Lufia 1 before playing Lufia 2, actually. Both of them were, were requested. And I think I also played Lufia 1 like a long time ago on top of that. But yeah, there isn't even a go back once you select someone's move. And then the move happens eventually. <laughs> The, the story mode... Oh jeez. Yeah, I'm gonna sell him. I, I find the story mode of the first Lufia didn't really stick as well. Uh, the second Lufia game was definitely, like, resonated better for me. Selen's, uh, Selen's MP is below 50 now, so that's one I said that I was going to, uh, oh, if, I, if I'm going to give her a, a magic revive anyway, then I may as well just, why did I heal Selen? That was done. Yeah, as an example of a game that uh, does confirm uh, once you've entered everyone's moves. Um, Legend of Agaia. Which. That one was a me pick that uh, we did a, a little while back. It's a game that I've finished twice, at least, and then finished again for stream. play it again for just for myself at some point like it's just kind of a nostalgic game because like it's one that um, like back in the day we would rent the crap out of that game like we rented it so many times it probably have been just cheaper to buy the damn thing and eventually we finished it Oh geez, we got both of those fights. But yeah, like we, we had this little private campground that had like a TV and someone would bring in their consoles or we'd have a PlayStation. We rented Legend of the Guy and just kind of played it together. It was like this. Four or five, uh, four or five kids that were there. It was it was a lot of fun, and it it felt good to finish, and it felt good to like come back uh, on this channel and like share the experience with uh, with everyone. Well, that was a little dicey, but uh, we're gonna get through this. I mean, it's a short floor, which definitely helps me get done faster. Because, like, just as noted, it's currently 129. And we got courage!
Uh, we got everything now. I mean, we, not that we got every spell, but like we have like the all of the core spells as far as I'm concerned. Which, most of them are the healing things. I, I did have a bit of a, like, just as an aside, like, I, I had a, a quote-unquote non-canonical one of uh, Ancient Cave while I was doing the series. By non-canonical, I mean I did it outside of recording, and no matter how it turned out, I was just going to, uh, to throw it away uh, anyway. Just kind of doing it for the hell of it. And, uh, unfortunately, that run died to hubris. Oh boy. These guys are just happy to be here. There goes Fuse again. But, like, I was playing on, um... Oh, right, I need to... Magic Rebirth on you. I was uh, running it on my 3DS. Just like it's it's nice and portable, and I don't need to. I can do it like whenever and do whatever else like on the side. But then I stopped paying proper attention to the game, and of course I stopped paying attention to how much health everyone has, and that's how everyone died. At least, uh, in my running this on stream, it forces me to have like 80% of my attention on the game, with like the other 20% on like chat and everything associated to just stream. Like, my primary focus gets to be on the game, so I have to pay a lot more attention to how much health everyone has. Here. Let's just sneak up on this dragon, all quiet like. I don't know how, how they didn't hear the door opening, but, you know, I'm not gonna question it. I'd do better than that, buddy. You're gonna have to do better than that, buddy. Like healing Selen rather than Arteo. Probably not a bad idea to heal some. Actually, keep forgetting to check uh, what Foos wants. What a Foos wants. What a Foos needs. Gotta get her up into rank four. For this floor. Smoke ball. Long staff. Long staff as well. Oh, silly game. You're so silly.
You would think that a dinosaur could do more than seven damage to a man, but I guess in this case, a quick. Magma Golem, huh? Well, I think. We've got a Magma Golem, we can probably cool them down, right? Confirm Sunday, 10 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. I got it. Yeah, we, we broke um, a million gold Pacific Smash Time. Sure. Yeah, I can't. I can't imagine that uh, the cards wouldn't be there for that. All right, this is gonna be the last floor for tonight. Yeah, for, for safety's sake, I might, uh, I might do my extra stream on Saturday, which hopefully I don't have anything going on Saturday. I think I do. And you have a lot of attacks, don't you? Um, but yeah, it's gonna be, like, Saturday afternoon at some time. I don't really have, like, a hard time designated for that. If I had to if I had to throw in a time right now, I would probably say like around uh 3 p.m. Atlantic. 2 p.m. Eastern and uh 11 a.m. Pacific. Got a core. Oh, no core. Naturally, we're not gonna get a finger on it, but you know. But yes, uh, GG underscore speedruns is what you want to follow for the Super Smash TV tournament, which is um, rapidly coming to a conclusion at this point. Uh, I'm gonna do Zap. Just in case anything. Oh, the Null Core is sticking around. Guess, which means you get the full brunt of Zap. Five, 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 five. That's probably overkill, but you know, if you end up with a, with a core that's sticking around, you don't want to give it a chance to run away. Uh, but yeah, GG underscore speedruns. Uh, two matches coming up. Uh, one of them is on Friday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. And that is going to be a winner's matchup of Brysol versus Aquas. 
That's the winner's semi-final matchup, I think. And uh, then we got, as j -Pop mentioned, that Sunday at uh, was that 1 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, it's going to be j -Pop against uh, current reigning champion and current record holder, world record holder, CHX42. So it's, it has a chance. And I don't mean, I don't, I'm not trying to get into your head, but it does have a chance of being the biggest upset in tournament history. Which, if it is, would still not, would still likely not be the greatest match of all time. You're gonna have a hard time beating Talio and Aquas' match in the sixth. Anyway, here we are at the end of 460. We're gonna put down a save state right here. And another one for good measure. Win or don't come back. Alright. And we're gonna call it here. So thank y'all for hanging out. Uh, thank you Zero, J-Pop, and Yellison for uh, chatting and uh, keep me company during this uh, this whole thing. The next scheduled stream is going to be on Sunday at, uh, well, the next stream on the proper schedule is going to be on Sunday at 8 p.m. or later Atlantic uh, Standard Time. It is the Sunday Super Show for we're going to do some more fellow shenanigans. Uh, the next stream of this, like I said, is going to be on Saturday, probably starting at 3, uh, which is 2 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we're gonna try to we're, we're gonna finish the ancient cave or die trying and if we wipe then that's it um, I'm not gonna be doing another attempt at least not for the foreseeable future and that takes us by the way to what is going to be happening next Tuesday at 9 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time so we have three streams between now and May 21st. There's something happening on May 21st, and I'm reserving the time for that. Uh, next week, uh, we are going to be doing something that I've been wanting to do for a little while uh, that I'm calling Shovelware Scavengers. So uh, back a while ago, uh, Chris Osick of, Pic of Pixel Amusement did a series called Shovelware Diggers where he looked through a, a compilation called the 2000, uh, well I have always called it anyway, the 2000 Hit Shareware Games 2 CD Collection uh, from Softkey. Uh, that series lasted for 300 episodes and there are still a lot of games left on that disc as well as some games that he just couldn't get working. So we're going to take a look at that compilation and see if there's anything that has been missed that maybe might be interesting to check out. So that's going to be next Tuesday. That's going to be a one-time thing for now. Uh, for the other two Tuesdays, I have other things uh, scheduled for those. And we'll get to those as we get to them. Anyway, that's going to do it. Uh, you can follow me on co-host at CoolYoungZX. You can also support me on the bear pay or buy me a coffee financially if you wish to do so at the links in chat at the moment. Thank you all for watching. I'm Coolio if you don't know. And I'll see you guys next time.